not a cartoon. It's anime. What up, y'all? It's Keenan Baker from the Animation Podcast, and thank you for joining in. Today's topic, saying pride is a devil, the devil's got a hold on them. Is saying pride the main reason why Vegeta can't get the big W? Spoiler alert from the Dragon Ball Super Manga, probably all the way up to chapter 76. So if you don't want to hear any spoilers, you already know what to do. Get your punk ass up out of here. So the Vegeta and Granola fight continues from chapter 75. And let me tell you something. It's a good, it's a really good fight. The panels look dope. But once again, man, Vegeta's out here getting smoked out. Goku has to come in and help him out. He says, no, Gagarot, I don't need your help, like he always says. And every time he says he doesn't need Goku's help, you know what happens? He gets his ass whooped. Vegeta feels like it's his fight, man. He's back in the ultra ego form. And, you know, that same pride is kicking in. He's like, I got it one-on-one. -on -one. And he gets smoked out. Literally beams straight to his face. Point blank range, straight to the mouth. So Vegeta's about to get finished off. And, you know, luckily he's saved by the Namekian because he didn't want any help from Goku. And he needs it. He, <laughs> he always needs it. Look, y'all, this is not a Vegeta hate video, man. He's my second favorite character. Future Chunks is my first, but this begs me to ask, is saying pride the biggest downfall of Vegeta? Because I'll tell you one thing, that saying pride hasn't got him a big W yet. Saying pride stepped in when he fought Goku the first time. Who, who, who took him out? Yajirobe. Yajirobe cut his tail off because that pride got in his way. That same pride had him focus on only one person on the fight. And there was other people there in the fight. L. Same pride against Zarbon. L. Same pride against the Ginyu Force. L. Same pride against Frieza. L. Against Cell. L. Hell, same pride got you blowing yourself up. And still taking the L. Same pride against Hit, Jiren, Moro, Ganola. The list is going to continue to go on, man. It's, it hasn't gotten Vegeta anywhere. Check your pride, man. Pride is a devil. Let me tell you something. Pride, know when to use it. I'm not saying don't have it, but it is the biggest downfall of freaking even empires. That same pride and that same ego is just, it's just not good for business, man. Pride and ego has gotten plenty of men knocked out in front of they girls. You know what happens? You ain't got no girl no more. That's what pride and ego does. Man, that same pride has gotten Goku a couple of L's. He ain't exempt from these L's from that same pride either. Same pride even got Gohan. He got his father killed. That's his fault. He damn near got Trunks killed. Look, there's plenty of issues with just regular pride and ego. But saying pride and ego, oh, it might be the worst. Saying pride and ego got you doing stupid stuff. Like letting your opponent get to their strongest form. Each and every time. Each and every time. That's why you have to check your pride and your ego, Saiyans. See, you don't let them get to their final form. You let them get to the form before the final form. Be like, damn, he's pretty strong right here. Then you turn it all the way up and whoop their ass and get them out of there. Kill them, whatever you got to do. Put that saying pride aside, man. And start jumping people like they do in Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay? That's what we want to see. We want to see y'all stomp people out. Tag team them. Sock them out together. In all honesty, I'd rather see y'all jump people than fuse. I would rather see, since Vegeta and Goku are just slightly different battle styles, I want to see them use that together to beat opponents. And then after y'all get the W, y'all can argue about who actually did the most work in the fight. If y'all want to fight it out then, fight it out then. But get the main W first, all right? Hey, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe saying pride is needed for them to get the W after they take the L, because they're going to take that L first. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Is saying pride actually needed? Do you like it? Or is saying pride overrated, man? Please hit me with a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Peace!